guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome i am so excited you found us this is creativity and inspiration and i'm lisa today i wanted to share a gift holder or a gift it could be the gift itself or a gift holder you could use it for valentine's day one i will do with the valentine's theme and the other is going to be for cooking because we all know somebody who loves to cook you know from scratch homemade and I have the cutest paper pack that I'll share with you that kind of inspired this whole uh, video. So we're going to do a homemade cooking love gift. And it's going to be Valentine's, but it's not themed Valentine's, if that makes sense. So let's just get into this and I'll share what the two gifts or gift holders, they could be both, are. Okay. The first one is a big matchbook. We've all seen these, or a lot of us have. Some of you may have not. These are super simple to make, and they're a great gift holder. All you do is take a piece of cardstock. This one is Valentine's theme, but you could definitely do this one in the homemade cooking theme as well. But it's um, just a piece of cardstock, and it's folded in two places. Inside, I made a pocket of copy paper. You could definitely use another piece of scrapbook paper if you wanted to. And it has the gusseted sides on the side, so it is um, stretchy, like a pocket should be. And the gift is inside, and it could be a gift card. It could be tickets to somewhere. And you can make this larger for, for tickets, or you could make it smaller. You can put a map in it, so to speak, or clues to the location of a gift. So there's a lot, a lot of things you could put into your matchbook. It's just really easy. This one's a little different though. It is not stapled at the bottom. It has the large pocket in it. And so I will share this one with you. And this is our Valentine theme. The other one we're gonna make is a zine and it's just a little booklet that you fill with pictures, card, um, it's a little booklet that you can fill with memories, ticket stubs, pictures, whatever you can think of. And I will show you how to make it. It is not sewn together. It is not uh, stapled at all, but it will hold its shape. And we will, I will show you how to do this. And I wanted to share with you this paper pack that I got that kind of inspired the whole homemade gift idea. It's this paper pack, um, Homemade with Love, and it's by Karina Gardner. It's a Cartabella brand, and I got it on Amazon, so I will link it below. But it's just so cute. It has a bunch of stickers, and the paper is just adorable. So I thought this would be a great paper pack to decorate our zine with, but first let me show you how I made it. Okay, actually first we're gonna make the large matchbook real quick because this doesn't take very long at all. And the thing is, you can make these as big or as small as you want. I think I'm going to take half of this uh, 12 by 12 piece of paper. And I'm just going to cut this section off. And of course, you'll want to measure and everything, but I never do just because I hate measuring. So to achieve this, all you do is make one fold at the bottom and you make it about a quarter inch to a half inch, depending on the size of your whole thing. This one could even be like three quarters of an inch. Okay. And you make the bottom fold, which is right there. And then you fold it over and you tuck it in like that and you tuck it as far as you want and then you make your other fold. And it's that simple. Then you have your shape. Now for the pocket inside is you just measure how big you want your pocket to be. 
and you want your pocket to stick under here so you'll from under there I'm gonna say oh four and a half inches tall and I'm gonna make it probably four and a quarter wide so four and a half tall four and a quarter wide here you could use another piece of cardstock if you wanted. You could use any color. Remember my channel is just here to give you ideas. So I'm going to fold this in half. No, actually. Let's see. Yeah. I'm going to fold this in half. This is going to be our pocket. And I'm going to measure... And then I'm going to cut this, just that, okay. Now I'm going to cut it at the bottom because I don't want them connected. Okay, so I have, whoops, I have two sheets. And... Now, I cut them for it to go like this, but I'm actually going to turn it sideways like this. And when I do that, as you can see, the sides hang over. But that's fine because we're going to make our, um, our gussets or our stretchy part. We fold it back and forwards on one side and fold it back and forwards on the other side. Just like that, and you end up with a little accordion on each side then do the other one the same way just match them up and tape them or glue them down okay. got my tape and I'm go just going to tape the two pieces of paper together on those uh, accordion folds Okay, once you get it together, there's your pocket. I'm going to not staple it in the bottom, but I'm going to tape it. So I'm going to put tape across this part and attach it like that. Okay, now that is down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape along all the back square of our white pocket. So I'm going to do the sides. And the bottom, but I'm not going to put a piece across the top. Okay, and we're just going to pick that off. Okay, and just fold it back. And there's your pocket. Just that simple. And you have another pocket. And there's your pocket, that simple, okay? And then you just tuck it in. And make your, and there you go. And it's that simple. You have a nice big pocket in there for any type of gift you would like to put. You can write a poem on the front. You can put a picture, depending on how big you make it. I think this is a great size right here. This one is, let's see. This is 11 and a half by five. This is 11 by five, and it is a great size. It would hold um, tickets, it would hold 
whatever you wanted it to. I love the size. And it's 11 and a half long, five wide, and it's folded. So that's a matchbook and decorate it. And there you go. Okay, you could even double them up if you wanted to and attach one matchbook onto the cover of another if you're doing something like a um, scavenger hunt or a multiple day event. You could have like dinner out one night at a special restaurant in the one on the top right here and then open it up and have like the big, big one in there. It just depends on how romantic you are, I guess. So it's a cute idea. Double them up and you get a really cool gift. And to do that, just glue or tape your smaller one. Just putting tape on the ends. Okay, center it if you want to, and there you go. Day one, day two, or maybe this is directions and there's tickets or something in there. Use your imagination, but the double matchbook is the way to go. Okay. For our second, the one that really inspired this whole video is our zine. And let me show you how to make your base. Okay, you just take a piece of copy paper, eight and a half by 11 inches. First, you fold it long ways like a hot dog. Okay. Make a good crease, then open it up and fold it like a taco next. Okay, now, once you've got it folded like a taco, then go back and fold the taco in half like a book, like that, and then take it and fold it like a taco again. Okay, and make sure you're doing your creases nice and crisp. And it should look like this. So we're gonna open it up. And it looks like that. And you have eight little rectangles, small rectangles. Okay, now fold it back to taco. And from the folded end, the end where the fold is, not the open end, cut up to the middle. So the folded end is down in your hand and you're gonna take your scissors and just cut up to the first fold line. Okay, then when you open it up, you will have this, like a mouth. Chop, chop, chop. Okay, and then turn it over and you're gonna push. I have to do it this way. Push it like that. Okay, so you take it and you push it so one flap goes one way and one flap goes the other. Then you fold it and you fold it again. And you should have a front, page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, page six, and your back. So if you didn't get it, after you cut your center out, okay, you fold it in half again like a hot dog and you push the open spot together until it does that, okay? It should look like that. You push it like that. 
close it and there is your zine okay so this is our base and then what we're going to do is decorate it now just for um orientation's sake the open part of the cover should always be down that way you have the right orientation for your book and then you just decorate so how do you want to decorate well this is the one that this gorgeous cooking paper homemade paper inspired so I thought we would use some of this to decorate with and I found the one I wanted to be the cover because it's very this one I thought this piece of paper would make a good cover and you just measure out how big you want it And I have this, and then I'm going to put this on the cover, and I might need to trim it a little more. Which, if I do, is fine. Okay. That's very cute. So, I'm going to put that, and maybe some red. Because the person I'm making it for loves red in their kitchen.
And then we use a sticker that's like hard. And that's like the cover. Isn't that cute? And then you just go through and decorate each page and write sentiments. And you could paint, you could draw whatever you want to do as a gift for the person who loves to cook in your life or loves to sing or paint or whatever. Make it your own. I did want to show you there's two pages that are open on the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape at the bottom so they're closed up. And then that becomes a pocket. So if you want to do that, there are two pages that open up kind of like that. Just seal the bottom and then you will have a pocket. So guys, I'm just going to finish up my little scene real quick. And I hope you like this video. Thanks for being here today. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Also be sure and hit that subscribe button and that little bell. Lots of things coming your way. Maybe an Ikea thing thrift flip. I know a short shopping trip to Target and just much, much more. So stay tuned. See you next time. Bye.